talking about. Just when I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! ah. Got it! Holy crap! Today, I'm going to try a small creek that has two low water bridges that are only a quarter mile from each other, just about separated by about three or four holes. Since the goggle eye attempt failed from my last video at the Eleven Point River, I'm going to try a smaller creek near my house that holds goggle eye. They're not as big. The odds of catching one over ten are very rare. I've caught a lot of eight, eight and a half, so maybe a nine or two. Uh, but they're easier to target. You don't need a canoe. You can just do it from the bank. But what this is, there's two low water bridges, like I said, just a quarter mile apart from each other. One of them's shallow, one of them's deep. Uh, I'm going to start off with lures at the first one, use lures all the way to the second one, use lures there for 20 minutes. And if I ain't catching nothing by then, then I'm going to start using red wigglers. <coughs> there's goggle eye in these low water bridges because they have the tendency to have large boulders and they congregate below them. So come along with us. Let's see if I can finally get a goggle eye this season. So far this year, almost every species has failed. I had no walleye this winter. White bass season was a flop because of the heavy rains everywhere and floods. Crappie season wasn't that great either. My biggest was only 14.5, where I'm used to getting 10, 15s every spring at least. Uh, flathead season hasn't worked yet because everything is flooded. I only have one spot I can actually fish for flatheads, but the problem is it's two hours away, so staying uh, overnight and actually fishing for them at night is very hard, or if you set limb lines, or trot lines you got to come back the next day so it's just nothing's been working out in our favor so I've right now for a while I'm switching to goggle eye if they do not bite at least smallmouth will keep me busy and I'll probably catch a few of them all right we'll see you when we get there right, Wilma's on her caught her first fish it's a smallmouth and she actually caught her on a red wiggler good job hon hold on I'm zooming first fish of the day Little nine or ten inch small mile. It's a fish though, not a worm. All right. Huh? Do what? Oh, I got a nice one here. Oh yeah, nice smallie. Oh yeah, decent, real decent. There we go. Better, better than the last one for sure. Nice little stream smallie. All right. There we go. Stay on there this time. Man, another small mouth that got off. I'm being pumped here, guys. Over and over. 30% of my hook sets. There we go. 
a little better. Oh, wow. Oh my God, this is the biggest green sunfish I've caught in many, many years, guys. Big, fat, pregnant green sunfish. Dang thing is like seven inches long. Wow, what a beauty. That just made my trip right there, even if I don't get anything else. That is a cool green sunfish. I used to catch these a lot before the age of 15, or I should say 16, before I got my driver's license. I used to always have to fish the creek next to my house and it was loaded with these. Now I've caught them all the way up to a pound and a half, believe it or not, when I was an old kid. Um, they don't tend to get that big in here normally. That is a monster green sunfish there, guys. For a greenie, that is beautiful. Amazing, big, fat, pregnant female. Beautiful orange fins. Look at the girth on that, guys. And look at that length, my goodness. Longer than my hand. I'm gonna say seven inches. Cool. Got another one. All right, a little small mouth. I'm just walking along, casting while I walk. Here's a little nine incher. Fell off. Or I could even show you, but it wasn't worth showing anyway. Still cool though. They're biting pretty good, especially toward the evening. a smallmouth guys and that was too my god they're stacked in here this has really changed got him first smallmouth of the evening not a big guy but this tree has clogged up the river and they are just well if I had a worm on right now I'd be really pulling more out the lure will eventually spook them Anyway, it's a big old brush pile going across here. It's blocked the river off. I don't even know how I'm getting around it, in fact. Yet, yeah. little bitty smallmouth, but hey, it's a fish. All right. I'm into something here. All right, what do I got? Little smallmouth, and by little, I mean little. Very little. No big ones yet, except the green sunfish. I right, know, little smallmouth. All right, <laughs> well, we'll get something better. There we go. All right, what do I got? What do I have? My God, it's a goggle line, a targeted species, shadow bass, yes. Not a big one, but I finally got one this year. Yes. Little guy, but that is exactly what I'm after, guys. Shadow bass, it's a subspecies of the rock bass, or you know, what is known as goggle line. Located in isolated populations in Missouri and Arkansas and a few other states. Sweet. Let's see if I can get another one. That's what I'm after. Oh yeah, got something nice here. Please be in a big goggle eye. Please, please, please. Nope, I think it's a smallie. Oh, it's a nice one this time though. Best one of the day, here we go. Yes. 
All right. Nice mauling. Finally. And it's actually... Yeah, it's smalling. I thought it was a mean mouth for just a split second. No, it's a... Boy, it almost does look like one. Just the pattern, I guess. Boy, talk about barely hooked, guys. Boy, that almost does look like a mean mouth, though. It could be, I guess. It would have a wider belly, though. No, it's just a weird color today. Nice little smalling, pregnant female. Just a short after work fishing trip, guys. Gotta go to work tomorrow. But the humidity's coming back Saturday, so I decided to get out here before that humidity came back. It's coming back Saturday. Nice. There he is. All right, another intended species. A little better. Now yeah, about the same. My second goggle eye though, guys. Awesome. Thank you. I keep putting off the live bait because I keep catching them on lures. They're definitely not the ones even comparable to the 11 point ones, which are always eight to 11 inches. But hey, I'm just happy to get one. That's my second one, so. Another shadow bass. Cool. These are both, mine been about six inches. Still fun fish to catch, guys. Let's see if I can get another one. Biting pretty good this evening. It's bright. Bright red. Bright, really bright. Guys, that is absolutely as colorful as they possibly get right there. Wow. Wow, Shiner. Too bad he's this big or he would be good bait. All right, folks, I got a common Shiner here. Cool, something different. I've been catching these a lot lately, though. It's like, like my third one in the last couple weeks. Common Shiner. That would be in a good catfish bait right there. Wow, cool. There we go. A nice goggle eye, finally. Yes. I told you guys, patience pays off. And like I said, you gotta thin through those sunfish. I finally got one of the real pretty male shadow bass. He's a little better. Swallow the hook, I'm gonna have to really try not to hurt this guy. But boy, look at this one. What a beauty. Still not the size I'm looking for, but that's a pretty shadow bass. Very camouflaged. Sweet. Back in. What a beauty. Still not the size I'm after. I'd like to get an eight and a half. Everyone's been about five to seven so far. Still pretty little goggle eye though. Always like these little fish. Let's see if we can get another one. Mm. 
Ooh, what a beauty. What a beauty, guys. Now that is a beautiful long ear right here. They just don't get much prettier than that at all. Wow. Look at that red. Tyler, hope you're watching this. Boy, that is a beauty. Bright red. I got another shadow bass, yes. Number four. Hey, hey. Two on worms, two on a lure. Still not the size. Maybe this place has gotten heavily fished over the years. I don't know. Because I used to catch good numbers of eight inch. Seven and eight out of here anyway. Never over nine, but you did get a few once in a while. Not bad little guy. Another shadow bass, number four. And a red wiggler. Good numbers of them in here. If nothing else, hey, I got my targeted species, that's what matters. And four of them. Another shadow bass, guys, number five. Smallest one of the day, but now I've gotten, officially gotten good numbers. That's pretty cool when you can target a certain species, which hasn't happened for me lately. I would get everything but the one I'm after. Finally, it paid off. When I tried for flatheads, I got channels. When I tried for goggle eye, I got smallmouth. Finally, I came for goggle eye, and that's what I've gotten now. Goggle eye number five. Little baby guy, but hey, this is becoming fun now. Officially. Not the size I'm after, but it is the targeted species. That's all that matters. Oh yeah, another shadow bass, guys. Number six. My goodness. I didn't, I didn't, honestly didn't think I'd catch this many, not six. That is just awesome. I mean, as many sunfish as I was catching at first using worms, I thought there's no way I'm ever even gonna get one because I could not keep the sunfish off. But finally, I toughed it out and I stayed till dark. I have caught six shadow bass, guys. Whoever says they don't buy worms is wrong. They love worms. You gotta find them. That is cool. I have caught six in one day in a long time. Let's see if we can get seven. Oh yes, yes. I got seven guys, and I'm gonna go home. Seven goggle eyes in one evening just fishing after work. It's too bad they weren't all like those 11 point ones.
But I tell you what, I think I'm going to go there this weekend. I have that feeling. That's what I'm going to go do with my weekend. All right, goggle eye number seven. Cool. Guys, it's been a good evening. At least I got what I was coming after. I never caught any giant fish, but it was still a lot of fun. Beautiful place, beautiful fish. Until next time, hit that like button and please subscribe.